This woman is straight up staring at me, but we don't care. Just take this day to like enjoy things that I want to do by myself and finding peace in that. You can have just as much fun even if you're by yourself. Welcome back to another video. I am so excited. Today we are doing a solo date. It's been a hot minute since I've just gone out and explored, especially by myself. I was just reading on the balcony, have my little iced coffee. That has been one of my favorite things to do, especially since I feel like there's still a little bit of summer left. I don't know what the weather's like where you guys are, but there's a sudden burst of heat in Toronto, which is actually a really bad thing because it's like the hottest that it's ever been. So today's perfect. I feel like I haven't really gone out this summer and just like explored. So a quick little get ready with me moment because it's quite hot gonna put some sunscreen on I've been really good with putting sunscreen on I feel like this year was the year that I actually started to care about my skincare more and sunscreen was never part of my routine But I will put my code in the description for Versed if you guys are interested I've shown this a few times now. I would love to just feel kind of cute You know, you don't need other people around to have a reason to feel cute We're gonna do like a no foundation type of look but using foundation. This is the NARS sheer glow i just feel like it's super light and i literally just apply this with my fingers but as i'm getting ready i just wanted to share what my plans are i've talked before about getting out and if you want to do something you don't need someone to go and do it with you so i decided i want to go to st lawrence market i don't know how else to describe it i think it's just like a food market but i've never been always wanted to go so that's what we're gonna start with today i kind of just want to walk around just enjoy this last sunny day i don't think it's gonna be this nice for a while when i say no foundation i just kind of blot this onto certain areas this foundation is super dewy so it just gives a little coverage and then a little bronzer this is the rare beauty one the last time I did a video like this was I think a year ago now. I was talking a lot about like tips and advice for going on solo dates, kind of getting over the fear of going out and doing stuff alone. Since one of my recent videos about being alone and stuff like that, I have gotten a couple questions around how I go out and do stuff, how to travel alone and stuff like that. So I want to get into that today as well. I also, as part of this video, want to get over my fear of vlogging in public. I don't know how successful we're going to be with that because because that part I feel like I haven't quite gotten over yet but I really want to push myself to at least try we'll see what happens I'm gonna use a little bit of this fair beauty blush and then I don't even need to do my brows because I did get ombre slash nano brows that video is gonna be coming up soon I'll talk a lot more about how that went but I'm really happy with them basically ready now and I just need to put a little outfit on I like to also challenge myself to not wear biker shorts and a tank top because that's been my summer 2023 uniform I just put on this little dress this is super old <laughs> I've had this for so many years I used to wear it literally all the time do you guys ever just like forget you own things I haven't touched this for at least a couple years and I just thought it was kind of cute casual I'm gonna bring a little tote bag I think I'm actually gonna use my GoPro to help with my filming anxiety because it's just so much smaller We'll see how that works. I'm currently using my main camera the Sony ZV-1. This is small compact So we'll see how far we get with this got my sunglasses And then what I actually really want to do as well is as you may have noticed I'm a Kindle girly now. So I finally got a case for my Kindle and it looks really dirty because there's sunscreen all over it but I really want to get some stickers for it so I'm gonna try to go find some stickers today that's gonna be one of my goals I'm also gonna bring it because I think I'm gonna do some reading some water for hydration and oh I am gonna bring a hat which totally kills the vibe of my outfit but again sun protection This is the most youtuber -y thing that I've ever done, but I'm sitting outside and I'm trying to force myself to vlog in public. I got a bagel. This woman is straight up staring at me, but we don't care. 
Look how cute. I don't remember the name of the place, but I'm super excited. It is scorching hot outside and I feel like I'm absolutely roasting. So we're gonna sit here for a little bit to just enjoy the sun a little. I don't know, I just didn't really know what to expect. It's just like a cute little market. It kind of gives me like Granville Island vibes or just like any little market vibe. Sure, there's like markets everywhere, but yeah, I'm gonna dig in because I'm starving. you guys I just went the completely wrong way for about 10 minutes you're always talking about leaving hi I'm not helping oh my god I'm gonna oh, do you have that hair? I do yeah no 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 Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. It is scorching hot and my legs are currently not covered by the shade. This was the best that I could do. My hair is stuck to my hat. I'm just trying to protect my face and my hair. Honestly, let me try to use some of this Batiste dry shampoo. They were giving these out like nobody's business. There's a tropical one, original one, which I always use. And then for dark hair, I really just wanted to find a nice little quiet place to sit and read. This is Sugar Beach, by the way. It's basically a man-made beach. You can't actually access the water. It's more like just for sunbathing, maybe making a sandcastle, which I'm not going to be doing. Yeah, it's super cute. I've actually never just like sat here before. Like I've definitely passed by several times, but I just never think to stop and smell the roses. But my hair is disgusting, so I think I'm actually going to use one of these dry shampoos. I know some people really dislike when people use their phones to record like this, but not going to lie the audio sounds way better than if i'm just using this i do have a like little lav mic but it sounds really really bad i tried it earlier this is like peak not giving an f because i'm about to do some dry shampoo in my hair it just needs to be done not the seagull laughing at me i can't even tell if this is rubbed into my hair it was really hard to find a seat that was covered i feel like everyone's at the beach I'm currently reading Permission to Come Home. I was kind of trying to read more fiction, just to like enjoy reading a bit more. This was actually pretty good. It's basically about mental health, especially as like Asian Americans. I am not American. I am looking for another fiction book to read. The last one I read, which I didn't tell you guys, was Yellow Face. It was just written in such a way that like you didn't want to stop reading. But this book definitely makes you feel some type of way, especially if you are Asian. So far, I'm about 15% into it. It, which is what I love about the Kindle. I'm gonna read a bit and then I think we'll probably head out to our next little stop that I'm really excited for. I need some sunglasses. I don't know who, I'm kidding. So I tried to read as long as I could, but I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty hot. So I ended up walking through the city, got some shots of the CN Tower, and then we had to make a stop at, you guessed it, Tim Hortons. Ice caps on a hot sunny day are unmatched. If you know, you know. I nearly drank all of it while I was just sitting there trying to recover and get some AC. And then we headed off to our next destination, Miniso. Honestly, not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's basically a Japanese store that has a lot of affordable, cute things, kind of like a dollar store, but not a dollar. If I was left in here, I would probably spend all my money. Like, did I need an eye mask? Probably not. Did I get it? Yes. What I actually came here for though was to get some stickers. They also have really cute stationery, like little toys and things. The sticker collection wasn't as big as I was hoping it would be, but I grabbed a couple options. Of course, couldn't leave without checking out the snacks as well. If you're into Asian candies and little snacks, they have those as well here. And then last but not least, we had to get some donuts. I don't know if you guys have tried mochi donuts before, but they are one of my favorite Hi. things. I'm good. How are you? These are all the flavors? Yes. 
Okay. It's basically like the consistency yeah. of a mochi, yeah. but in a donut form. So I had to grab a couple for my big solo date. Okay, I just got back and I still look like an egghead. Oh my god, literally the state of my hair right now. It felt like it was 40 degrees outside. It wasn't, but it might as well have been. It's like there's sweat caked into my hair. Just a second for the girls out there that have hair that's dyed. If you have anything that's bleached and you expose it to the sun a lot, it will get brassy. So I just have like paranoia about that type of stuff. Okay, at least I brushed out whatever was happening on top of my head. Let's just take a few seconds while we're home and in air conditioning. I probably shouldn't have been walking as much as I did today. Yeah, a little heat exhausted, not gonna lie. I was really looking forward to just like sitting outside and reading at Sugar Beach, but it felt like I was sitting in a puddle of sweat. And I was so scared I was gonna get up and the bottom of my dress would be drenched So I just had to go so then I had my next destination and I really wanted to go to get some stickers Like I said, tell me why I decided to walk. I was just like it's such a nice day and I never just walk for fun you know, it was honestly really relaxing. Even if you're just walking around your neighborhood, I feel like letting yourself just have a moment to enjoy it and look around. It sounds really cheesy, but like admiring what's around you. I definitely don't take enough time to do that. So that's something I'm really glad I did today, even though it was a little bit hot. <laughs> One thing I didn't talk about yet is around a couple of people that have asked what to do if you're traveling by yourself. I would say it really depends on what type of traveler you are and the things that you like to do. For me, I honestly do gravitate towards like touristy places. I went to New York by myself and to be honest, I did do a lot of the touristy things and I'd love to go back and do not touristy things. I feel like because you're also visiting and everyone else is visiting, you're just kind of like in a sea of people, if that makes sense. The next time I go, I'd love to try not as touristy places, but that's definitely an approach that I would recommend if you're going to a brand new place by yourself, just as a starting point and you could end up meeting people through that as well. Another thing I would suggest is events, just seeing what's happening in the city. I've done that as well, which looking back at it as a female, I would say just do that with a bit of caution for the most part if you're around crowds but you're still being smart about it watching over your stuff watching over your drink and stuff like that then i would suggest that as well things like street festivals or like little markets and stuff like this was a good example the saint lawrence market most of the time everyone's pretty in their own world so it gives you a really good opportunity to just enjoy it by yourself or even try to meet people if that's what you're trying to do those are i think pretty easy ways to like go and do stuff i do really like concerts and movies you're there already with a bunch of other people that are going to to enjoy a show people most likely should be consumed by what they're watching versus worried about you being by yourself if that's a concern that you have if it's something that you really want to do anyways for instance if there's a concert and you know you might not have people that you can go with just give it a try you'd be surprised how much fun you can have especially if you're seeing someone like an artist you really want to see anyways you can definitely have fun doing that by yourself so anyways that was my little spiel but i did have questions on that before and i hope that kind of gives you some insight of like tips ideas if you've been wanting to do stuff like this especially if you're visiting new places i also love a good self-care day i think that's one of the best things to do you can definitely do that by yourself and feel really good about it afterwards let's do a little haul of the things i got okay we'll start with the stickers they had like really kawaii focused stickers which you know it's miniso or miniso someone please correct me because i don't know how to say it these are the stickers that i got we got three packs. I just think they're so cute. I don't know who this character is. I think it's a, oh, it's a Miniso character, but this little guy has all these fruits on it. So cute. And then these two are Sanrio characters. Such a throwback moment when I was like, I don't know, in high school and all your stationery was these characters. If you know, you know. And then I got these pore strips. This is Wee Bear Bear. Such a cute show. I got this sleep mask. I do have a sleep mask already, but like, it's so cute. So I just got this one. And then I got a candy because why not? As you guys saw when I was at Sugar Beach, they had a whole cart of dry shampoo. Okay, five, 10. I have 10 mini dry shampoos now. I was like, oh, let me just get one. And then they're like, here, take all of these. Don't mind if I do. Anyways, I'm gonna go enjoy my little donuts. These are mochi donuts. It's from Isabella's. Oh my God, look how freaking good that looks. This is a strawberry milk tea. I got matcha one as well. 
I might actually need to take a shower because I am drenched in sweat at this point But it'd be nice to get some reading done and just relax and just take this day to like enjoy things that I want to do by myself and finding peace in that I hope this inspired you if you've been thinking about going on a little solo date or there's something you've wanted to do No one to do it with literally just go and try I cannot recommend enough just going and trying to do things you can have just as much fun or enjoy things just as much even if you're by yourself I'm really glad I got to just enjoy the day finally visited st. Lawrence market after I've been here for years and I got stickers you know what I'm gonna get changed go outside and decorate my Kindle because that's why I got the stickers I totally forgot mm -hmm.